my example of the formal transmission via the traditional right of inheritance or the inherent right to transmit and teach the process of spiritual ascent from the Numitum Adidas Samraj page 376 in August 1969 Swami Baba, Baba Muktananda formally and publicly acknowledged the awakening of advanced yogic and spiritual signs in me and he proclaimed on that basis that I had the right to teach and thus to function as a spiritual transmission master or Siddha Guru in relation to others. This acknowledgement and proclamation was made known via an open letter in Baba Magdananda's own hand written in my presence and in the presence of approximately 50 to 100 others. Sri Gurudev to my dear beloved N, Franklin, with my loving remembrance of you, even of your very self. You have done and really experienced a sadhana or constant discipline, ordeal and process of true and spiritual dhyana or meditation. And you have thereby attained the true and spiritual state of meditation. You have, by means of true and spiritual meditation, achieved the steady state of Samanam, samadana, or one point of concentration, or inherence in and tacit, or mindless identification with the divine supreme inner self. Therefore, you have acquired or achieved the fullness of satisfaction, delight, and joy in and by means of true and spiritual meditation. Because it is thus evident that the perfect realisation of the Divine Supreme Inner Self by means of true and spiritual meditation is the great and single purpose of your life and indeed the very truth in which you are now and always deeply concentrated you are hereby given the name Dhyanananda in the path, sphere, tradition, line and lineage of yoga you by virtue of this declaration will or by right can henceforth be known, called, addressed or referred to as or by the name of Dhyanananda. You are a true bearer of the wealth of the knowledge of Siddha Yoga as it is given at Sri Gurudev Ashram. The Kundalini Shakti which by divine grace gives, grants or bestows and accomplishes Siddha Yoga is actively at work in you. Likewise, you are a true knower or actual and potentially perfect realiser of Vedanta, the divine supreme inner self, which is the secret and the ultimate truth of Vedanta and which is the very basis, foundation or root of true religion or the way of truth and which or perfect realisation of which or perfectly absorbed identification with which is the true and ultimate goal of human life has been awakened and is awake in you by means of the active work of the Kundalini Shakti or Divine Power. Only one who has actually seen or experienced a particular something can testify, testify or bear true witness to it or speak with authority relative to its existence and its nature and otherwise affirm, authenticate, certify, prove manifest, show or demonstrate it. Based on this principle or the obvious reasonableness of this argument, you, because of your direct experience and knowledge of Kundalini Shakti meditation and thereby of the Divine Supreme Inner Self, have, in accordance with tradition, both the hereby affirmed actual ability and the inherent and hereby affirmed right to initiate or cause true and spiritual meditation in others or altogether to teach, initiate, establish, guide and awaken others in the practice, the process and the ultimately perfect realisation of Siddha Yoga meditation 
or true and spiritual meditation on and ultimately perfect realization of the divine supreme inner self by means of the Kundalini Shakti transmitted and directly activated by you. With an authority based on this same principle of experience itself, the scriptures testify and declare, and I likewise affirm to you, that if you have faith or genuine trust in the Guru, and if you persistently meditate on your inherent open oneness with the Divine Being, and if you maintain an equal eye of regard toward all human beings, the Goddess Chitti Kundalini will always help and support you fully, and she will not only grant you the appropriate or right enjoyment of human life, or the appropriate natural or ordinary fulfilments of human life, but she will also fill or perfectly fulfill you with the gift of ultimate perfect and final liberation. Therefore, may you, by the divine grace of the goddess Chitti Kundalini, realize or obtain and achieve perfect absorption in and perfect identification and perfect sameness with the divine being and this by means of the perfect fulfillment of your primary duty which is to worship the divine being by meditating on your inherent identi identity as the divine supreme inner self thus saying this i give you my blessing kundalini yoga is possible is a possibility for everyone since the Kundalini Shakti, which is the active source and the divine doer of Kundalini Yoga, exists latently in everyone, and everyone and everything exists or resides in or is alive or existing in as and by means of the divine Kundalini Shakti. And meditation on the divine supreme inner self by means of the Kundalini Shakti awakened by the Guru's grace, is necessarily the primary duty of everyone, because everyone originates from the Divine Source, and therefore everyone owes or must render, surrender and return his or her divinely originated existence to the Kundalini Shakti, which is the Divine Source power, and which is the way to the Divine Supreme Inner Self Source of everything and everyone. Therefore, I hereby declare that you have the inherent right and the actual ability to cause or altogether to teach, initiate, establish and guide Kundalini Yoga, meditation or the practice and the process of Kundalini Shakti meditation in anyone and everyone and thus and thereby to awaken anyone and everyone to and as the divine supreme inner self of everything and everyone. Swami Muktananda, Dana District, Maharashtra State, India, Maharashtra State, India.